This is page 23 of The Most Beautiful Roof in the World. If you're completing New York State Common Core lesson number seven, this is the second half of your reading for the mid-unit assessment. Page 23. Meg clips her Jumars into the, some extending cable so she can go higher and get closer to the ant gardens. She wants to observe a mature one that fairly bristles with plant life. Meg counts at least six different kinds of seedling plants here, ranging from orchid to cacti. A peperomia plant forms at its base. The ant gardens are magnets for epiphytic growth. Epiphytes, unlike vines or ilianas, usually start growing from the canopy down. They need the tree for support. They root on the bark or soil found on a tree. They often begin when a bird excretes a seed from overhead, or as in this case, when the ants themselves drag bits of plant material. The bits take root, the seeds sprout. The little ant farmers tend them night and day and return and in return, they feed off the glucose and proteins that the plants contain in their suckeries, the sugary deposits made by the plant's metabolic process. Scientists think that the ants' gardens themselves may be of benefit to more than just the ants, and that these gardens help the tree itself by allowing it to capture more solar energy and to trap atmospheric nutrients that might slip off the bear trunk.